so far we have gone through the S1, S2, S3 that is Sairi, Saiton and Saiso. So you have sorted the things, you have set it in order and you started the activity of shining or cleaning it regularly. Now the S4, in the S4 Saiketsu, what you are going to do? You are going to do standardization so that you will maintain the condition that you have achieved through S1 to S3 activities. It is said that there is no improvement without the standards. Standard is the basis for improvement. So, how you are going to standardize it? By way of creating the work instructions, by creating the SOPs that is standard operating procedures, by creating the checklists. For example, for the cleaning. So, whether the areas are cleaned or not, you will create a checklist for that. You will make a standard operating procedure or in the existing work instructions or SOPs, you will mention about the cleaning activities or maintaining the workplace. What are the things to be done so as to maintain the S1 to S3 condition in the SOPs so that the operators, the process owners will follow it. Apart from this, various color coded bins for segregating the material like for cotton, oily cotton, metal pieces, plastic is also a part of standardization. You must have seen the bins with the plastic material, paper material and also for the recyclable material. So what does that mean? You ask people to put the scrap, put the unwanted things into the bins. Moreover, you are standardizing it so that it is categorized into various categories. They are keeping it into various categories properly. That is the standardization you are doing so that what are the condition you have achieved through S1 to S3 are maintained.